Hi there, welcome to Kiwi Wanderers Tech Tips. I've started this Tech Tips section to help people who are getting into caravanning like we were. Um, and yeah, hopefully there'll be you'll find some helpful tips. Today we're going to talk about how not to kill your automatic transmission while towing the caravan. So one of the things that kills transmissions or the biggest factor that kills transmissions is excess heat. Most vehicles don't uh, give you a transmission temperature gauge so you can monitor that and see when you're getting your transmissions getting too hot. So yeah we're going to fix that uh, like this. Right as most of you probably know the Ford Ranger has a sophisticated dashboard. You can display all manner of things here. This is a 2019 PX3 Ford Ranger. It has fuel economy, it has trip computers, tyre pressures, just about everything you want. It Only one of the screens displays uh, engine coolant temperature, which in my opinion, as a mechanic, is relatively important to know, especially when you're towing a huge caravan. So I wanted to see not only the engine coolant temperature, but the transmission temperature. And to fix it, I have done something like this. Now I have an old Android cell phone on the left hand side of the steering wheel, just mounted to the air vent, just with a standard little clip you can buy from the supermarket. So we did quite a bit of research to decide which was the best software to have this running in our car. And Forscan is the software that's most suitable to the Ranger, Ford Ranger. It's made for Ford. Um, there is a huge amount of software out there, so I'm pretty sure that I could say that there's something for almost every car out there. Uh, the only requirement would be that they have OBD2 plug, which I think everything since about 2005 has, so should be no trouble there. And Forscan... I still have to be careful how I say that. Forescan recommended OBD Link as the best interface to connect into the car. So I purchased one of those and yeah, very impressed. So this is the OBD Link just uh, plugged into the OBD port underneath the dash. I'll just tuck it up there out of the way and it communicates with the old cell phone got up there just uh, via Bluetooth yeah so pretty straightforward real easy to set up so I just want to tell you about what's uh, what we've got displayed up on the screen obviously uh, on the top left there we've got the gear we're in then we've got beside that we've got the engine coolant temperature and then underneath we have the transmission fluid temperature which is uh, a key to this whole thing uh, I then got boost pressure, uh, just to see how hard the engine's working, and some oil temperature and battery voltage down the bottom, just for uh, shits and giggles, really. Uh, you can customise this to have basically anything that uh, the ECU is, is monitoring on the vehicle, so it's, uh, yeah, you can have all sorts of stuff on there. It's quite a good program. Alrighty, so all up the costs were about 120 bucks, an old cell phone, and lots of hours of work. <laughs> uh, yeah, but well worth it. When we're driving now, I can see the uh, temperature getting up in the transmission and just back off. They they say that uh, if the transmission temperature gets over 110 degrees, it halves the life of the transmission. So if you don't know what temperature it is, how can you uh, how can you stop that happening? Hope this has been helpful. Uh, yeah, please subscribe to the channel and we'll hopefully have some other tips for you. Thanks. Bye.